Now you're going to choose the colors that you like it most. For example, I choose red for details, light green for the head, and the dark green for the body. I'm going to take these two away because we're not going to use it right now. Okay? Now that you got the green, you're going to put your green on portrait position, just like this, remember? Landscape, portrait. We're going to use it in portrait position. And I'm going to use a ruler. You can take yours. I got my daughter's ruler. Don't tell her that I stole it. <laughs> now, we're going to make in there some marks, okay? Those marks are going to have this size three centimeters. So you can make three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and eighteen. Okay, in those numbers you're gonna make a little a little mark. Okay? Now that you got it, you're going to take away the ruler and you're going to put your paper now in landscape position. And I'm going to do this step with the marker so you can see it better, but it's better if you use your pencil, okay? So you have to use your pencil. I'm going to use my marker, okay? So I'm going to take my marker and on those marks, I'm going to make a long line through the paper. Okay, one, two, three, four, don't worry, it's not perfect, but got more or less the same size, okay? And in here too. When you got all your paper complete with those lines, we're going to... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Work in the next step that is going to be the step number two. Okay, for the next num the next step, we're going to use our scissors and we're going to follow those lines and cut the paper in strips like this one. Okay, so this is the number one, and you continue doing this until you finish to cut all the paper. Okay. If you want to use more colors, oh, well, even better. You can use as many colors as you want it. I don't know if you want to make a turquoise snake or if you want to make a rainbow snake. Ooh, it will look really cool. I love rainbows. So you can use as many colors as you need and cut the strips that you're going to need for each color. I did all these because I'm going to use just this color, but if you're going to use some red and blue and yellow, so make maybe two of each color, okay? Now we got all these. In my case, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Now, you, now that you got all those seven papers, you're going to take it one by one, and you're going to use your glue stick, okay? And no brand, sorry. <laughs> now, guys, in your case, if you got liquid glue, you're going to put just a dot in here, okay? Just a dot, remember. But in our case, now we're going to use this one here, okay? You just put it in there, and you're going to take the paper, the other part, and you're going to put it together, okay? And hold it for a while so you can make a circle. See? So it's easy. Okay? That's the first step. Now, when you finish that, you're going to continue with the next papers, but you're going to make circles, but you have to use the circle that you did before to make the next one because you have to assemble it together. Okay? So you're going to put this in here and you're going to as we did before, put glue here and paste it. Now, before you can continue doing this, because we're going to create a chain, as you can see, okay? The situation is this one. If you want to add decorations in your snake, you have to take the paper before you paste it. And you can add in there, for example, 
and for that we need our marker you can use a black marker or if you need to use colors you can do it with colors you can make lines you cannot i don't know maybe some stars or hearts or you can make um what else uh, we can make circles or dots or some decorations that you can or want to add in there okay use your imagination that's the great thing about it it's gonna be super cool because you're gonna choose the details <laughs> now as i told you before we we're going to continue adding the paper through and paste it so you can make the circle okay so we got these two together as you can see we're going to continue with the next papers as I told you before, if you want to add details, do it before you paste it and continue. Okay, so this is the number three. And you can paste at, as many papers as you want it because you can make it super extra mega long or just a normal one like the one that I'm, I'm doing right now. Okay, so just adding there the things that you will prefer to paste okay as you can see we got here all these strips that you can paste and make your snake now that you got all the body ready this is my last one you're going to make the head now we got the body as you can see this one is the one that i used to make uh, details if you got details all around it's your choice okay so it's gonna look more or less like this now that you got it okay we're going to put it in here okay and we're going to work now with the third step we're gonna make -da -da -da, the head and for the head, we're going to use, in my case, I'm going to use this light green colors. I, I, color. I like it very much. And I'm going to use a CD that got a brown shape like a circle. Okay, and I'm going to put it here in the corner. It's better in the corner. Why? Because we're going to have the rest of the paper to reuse it for something else. Okay, never start to cut in the middle. Why? Because you're not going to use the rest of the paper. You're not going to have enough space to work. So it's even better so we can uh, work with our materials on a better way, okay? Again, I'm going to make the line with a marker, but in your case, use your pencil. I'm going to take the marker and I'm going to make the circle around, okay? Ah, that's a circle. And we're going to take now our scissors again okay and we're gonna cut out this circle following the line okay more or less like this okay now that you got your circle you can put this paper next to you so you can reuse it in another time by paper and we're gonna use this to make the head First of all, you have to fold it in half, okay? Like a turnover. Ooh, I love turnover. My pineapples turnovers mm, are delicious. <laughs> I love to eat it. Now, guys, this is going to be mm, the head, okay? Now, depend of you if you want to add some details on it. For example, if you got googly eyes, you can use it and paste it in there or if you prefer you can use in this case white paper okay because maybe you don't have googly eyes in your house so with the marker you're going to create your own eyes okay i'm gonna do this one you already did it with me the day that we draw the um, the little fish, remember, that is a circle inside another circle and inside that circle we're going to have another circle and another circle again, okay? 
And when you got that, we are going to we're going to paint this or color it with black. Okay? Oh, that's true. We're using a marker. You have to protect the table. <gasps> Sorry, mommy. <laughs> no, that's mine, but we have to take care of it. Sorry, husband. <laughs> so, guys, here we got our second eye. It's going to have some big eyes. We're going to cut it out. And we're going to paste it in the head. Okay? So these are going to be the eyes. One. And two. You can paste it in the position that you like. Okay? That's the cool thing about it. I prefer when you draw the eyes that when you just paste it. Because you can create cool things with it. For example, if you got these two eyes, you can make it like, Oh, I'm super cute. Or you can make it like, Oh, I'm crazy. Okay? So, use your imagination and create the design that you like it most for your eyes and your snake. You can put it together or far away. Okay? So, depends on you. I'm going to use this position. I like it well. The cute one was nice too. Okay? Because the snakes can be really cool animals. Okay? We don't have to be afraid of it. Like any animal, you just have to take care of the animals and be careful with them. Not to be afraid of them. Okay? So, ta -da! those are my eyes. This is my head. And I'm gonna use now the red to make the decorations. In my case, I'm gonna take this part in here I and mean, I'm just gonna cut one long rectangle, okay, like this one, see? And at the bottom, I'm going to cut a triangle. See? Okay, so this is gonna be the front and we're gonna paste it inside the head, okay? You're gonna open it, you're gonna take your glue stick again. Or well, if you're using liquid glue, remember just a dot, not a lot. And you're gonna paste it inside Hold for a moment. And now that you got it, this is the head. Hello, guys, how are you? <laughs> and we're gonna paste these in here, okay. So you're going to take the body, the one that we did before, okay, and we're going to put glue in there and take your paper, your head, and paste it on top, okay? See here? Here, any. And now that we got it, ta -da! this is our snake. I am so pretty. <laughs> so guys, I hope that you like this idea. You can make as many snakes that you want, okay, with the colors, the details, and the decorations that you prefer. If you want to add a ribbon, or if you want to add, I don't know, glitter or something, stickers, stickers in the body, or... I don't know, use your imagination and use the things that you got in your house. The idea is that one, guys. The art is to help us not to stress off. So, we are going to use the materials that you got in your house so you can transform this idea with your own personal touch, okay? With the things that you can find, with the solutions that you can use to transform the materials into a beautiful snake. So, I'm going to ask you please to uh, when you finish take a picture of your project with you so I can see the result I would love to see your snakes ready and see all the those beautiful details that you can add to it and how to use how did you use your imagination okay so see you later my friends and I hope that you like it 
let's continue making art in our house. It's gonna be so fun, okay? Bye!